Law Minister Anisul Haq has said Deputy Attorney General Imran Ahmed Puya has violated the state's discipline by announcing that he will not sign a statement against Nobel laureate Dr. Muhammad Yunus. The minister said he should have resigned before talking about Dr. Yunus in the media or he should have taken permission from the Attorney General. But he did not do any of that. It is against the discipline. He said this while speaking to the media today. When asked about taking action against the deputy attorney, the minister said the deputy attorney general's office will be investigated following existing laws. Meanwhile, Attorney General A.M. Aminuddin today said the DAG Imran's intention behind telling media about not signing an alleged statement on Professor Yunus was to make somebody happy. The DAG refused to sign a statement allegedly prepared by the Attorney General's office in protest against the statement of world leaders in support of Dr. Yunus. Action Deputy Attorney General Judy Kono Boktobo Ditechan, Bab Kono Boktobo Tar Dawa Projon Mone Correct, Tahale Puni Tinikintu. Attorney General permission ni take shei bokto bodite hobe. Jei office e tini daitto palon korchen, tadesh shathe jodi tar di moth hoy, tahale shobche prothom jeta uchit tar kora, sheta hoyche padot tag kore tar motha moth dao uchit. Ekhane kintu tini sheta o koren nai, tini string khola bhongo kore chen, aboshoi tar virudhe babostani the hobe. Amader office theke amar jana mote, ami dono nishchoto gudori. statement <laughs> BNP has said the courts in Bangladesh have become Ainaghor or secret detention centers to eliminate the opposition. BNP Senior Joint Secretary General Rizvi Ahmed has said there is a strange regime going on in Bangladesh. It is a misrule in which the court proceedings are carried out at the will of one person. There is no justice and no work is done in the statutory legal process. Meanwhile, BNP senior leader Amir Khosru Mahmoud Chaudhry claimed the police and the court are giving precedence to Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's wishes instead of the rule of law. <laughs> लीला केंद्रों अखुन फैसिबदी आउमी शरकरे खमताई थाकार दिगंत विस्तृत लालोशा पुरुने स्वाहक शक्ति शबे काज करछे आधालोतेर विचारों पर विचार विभक्त के आवार तार छोटी जगह फिर यंत्र होले अस्के आमदे रक्त निर्बाचित शरकरे प्रयोजन अतिन निर्बाचित शरकरे प्रयोजन निर्बाचित जनप्रतिनिधि निर्बाचित शरकर � এখন বিকাশ অ্যাপে পাবেন দেশের প্রথম ডিজিটাল লোন দি অ্যাপল ডিভিশন গ্র্যান্টেড বেল টু সাবেরা আমান ওয়াইফ অফ বিএনপি লিডার আমানুল্লাহ আমান ইন আ কেস ফাইল ওভার অ্যাকুয়ারিং ওয়েলথ বিয়ন্ড নন ইনকাম সোর্স চেম্বার জজ অফ দি অ্যাপল ডিভিশন জাস্টিস এম এন আই তো রহিম গ্র্যান্টেড দা বেল টিল 15th জানুয়ারি নেক্সট ইয়ার ফলোইং আ বেল পিটিশন ফাইল বাই সাবেরা at the same time, the court fixed the day for hearing on the petition in the full bench of the appellate division. On 3rd September, the Dhaka Special Judge Court sent Sabera to jail after she surrendered before the court. The Anti-Corruption Commission in 2007 filed a case against Aman and his wife Sabera. Infrastructure projects should be properly designed in the first phase so that it doesn't need to be demolished and redone leading to a waste of money and time, said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The Prime Minister gave the directive at the meeting of the ECNIC in the capital's Shere Bangla Nagar. Planning Minister M. M. Annan told reporters after the meeting. Manan said the directive came while approving the revised plan of the bridge construction project over the Nobogongo River in Norail Scalia. The trend of revisions in ongoing development projects increased towards the end of the last fiscal year.
President Mohammad Shahbuddin today joined the opening session of the 43rd Summit of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations at the Plenary Hall of Jakarta Convention Center in Indonesia. The three-day summit is being held on September 5-7 to 7 as Indonesian President Joko Widodo is chairing it. President Shahbuddin, along with his wife Dr. Rebecca Sultana, reached the summit venue in the morning. On arrival, they were welcomed by the ASEAN chair and the Indonesian president after a formal state reception. The Indonesian president, along with his wife Iriana Joko Widodo, also took part in a photo session with the Bangladesh president and his spouse. Chairperson of Bangladesh National Advisory Committee on Autism and Neurodevelopmental Disorders, Saima Wajid, and Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momen are also accompanying the president at the opening ceremony. Bangladesh and the United States held the ninth annual bilateral security dialogue in Dhaka as part of comprehensive security relationship between the two governments. Khandukar Masudul Alam, Director General North America, is leading the Bangladesh delegation, while the U.S. side is led by Mira Resnick, Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Regional Security in the Bureau of Political Military Affairs. The dialogue began at 9 a.m. at the Foreign Service Academy. The Security Dialogue is an annual civilian-led discussion that touches on all elements of the security relationship between the two countries. Representatives from both sides discussed Indo-Pacific regional issues, security and human rights, military cooperation, peacekeeping, security assistance and counter-terrorism, among other topics. Both countries share a vision to ensure the Indo-Pacific region is free, open, peaceful and secure. Rukshana, Rukshana, to me, Amar Kota, Shunta Bacho, Aidin Holo, Shadi, Jedin Shay, Baglashar, Tar Shokol Jorota Bule, Darabahik Natuk, Balubashar, Uli Uli, Rajuna Upurichaluna, Shagur Jahan, Madam Pandit, Saturday, to me, Kia Shulibayavanto, to me, Ashulik into Maki Dujun and the Civic Police. About the Balapurzani, to me, ask you to tell a cow character out in Sudaba. बुधवार এখন বিকাশ পাবেন দেশের প্রথম ডিজিটাল লোন